With great power comes great responsibility. Today we are building Spider-Man in Baldur's Gate 3. Now we're going to do a level by level guide and we'll do a combat tutorial as always. To start this build we are going to want to grab the Monk class. A few reasons being Spider-Man is of course an unarmed striker. Monks are unarmed strikers as well. They gain access to Fury Blows, so we get to punch twice in quick succession as a bonus action. We also get key points. Now these are used for doing a lot of stuff, but other stat bonuses we get. We have Unarmored Defense. Of course, Spider-Man does not wear armor. He wears a suit. So Unarmored Defense is perfect for us. We add our Wisdom a modifier to our Ability class. And then we get these Martial Arts. Some attacks with Monk weapons and Unarmed Strikes give your Dexterity instead of your Strength, which is perfect because Spider-Man is... Very nimble and stuff, despite being very strong. Death strikes, attacks with monk weapons, and arm strike deal 1 to 4 bludgeoning damage, unless their normal damage is higher. And unarmed strike bonus strike, where we basically can use an attack with our bonus action, as opposed, or sorry, in conjunction with our main attack. That is what we will take our level 1 in. Now, for doing our monk, we want to focus on dexterity and wisdom and intelligence. So, now for this build to work, we are going to want to bump some of this stuff down. We're going to take our intelligence up to 10 for when we multi-class. We are going to take our strength down 10 as well to give us a 0. And I would leave it like this personally. I would have 17 in dexterity. Or maybe bump, we would bump dexterity down to 16 and take intelligence up to 13. Cycle along those lines, whichever you really fancy doing here. No real right or wrong. We'll go from here. We get bonuses, we get a plus 2 dexterity and a plus 1 to constitution. I would again turn this into intelligence, so we have a plus 3 in our dex, we have a plus 1 in our con, and a plus 2 in our intelligence, as well as a plus 2 in our wisdom. Okay, because I didn't read the screen properly, we had 26 out of 27, so this is what I would go with. I would leave 13, 13, and 17. Now, Spider-Man is a very nimble person, so I would leave your proficiency into acrobatics. And probably stealth, if I was honest, but it recommends insight, which would also work because Spider-Man is very inquisitive and he is good at seeing things. So either or, in this case, I do think acrobatics and insight is your best bet. Okay, level two, we will take another level into our monk class. We get an additional key point. We get unarmored movement. So our movement speed is increased by three meters when we're not using armor or shield. And we have things such as patient defense. So attack rolls against you have disadvantage. We get to use that with one of our key points. Step of the wind dash, we get to double our movement speed, and jumps no longer require bonus action. And we can disengage three really useful things for getting around the battlefield, and dashing around and jumping from one enemy to another, much like Spider-Man does, especially if you played the uh, PS4 Spider-Man games. Okay, level three, we get one more additional key point, and we get access to our subclass. With the four elements, so this is much more of a sorcerer-esque, monk where he can throw around fire and all that sort of stuff where the open hand is very straightforward just brute force where the shadow so this is much more stealthy this is more akin to a roguish one i would go way of the open hand so we get the extra damage combats here okay we are now level four and we get our first asi or feet now we also get an additional key point and we get slow fall when you fall you can use your reaction to gain resistance to falling damage 27 health as well. So for this, I would take the ASI boost and I would put one into dex. We now have a plus four. And I would put one more into intelligence. So that is now a plus two. Okay, this is what this build is all about. We have extra attack now at level five. One more key point. Stunning strike. So we can possibly stun the target if we hit, which is amazing. It is a constitution save. So if you can throw a hex up with a warlock, throw this on top. You're laughing if you can get them stunned. And we also have unarmed, so 5 to 10 damage, so it's 1d6 plus 4, insanely good, insanely good. And then this is obviously based on whatever melee weapon you're using. This will be probably what you're focusing on there if you are trying to build a Spider-Man-esque character. He doesn't use swords, he uses his fists. Okay, we are now level 6 and it is time for us to take our class. We are going to put a level into Wizard, because Spider-Man has webs and all that sort of stuff, and we're going to pick spells based across what he has as abilities okay for our spells i would take blade ward so we only take half damage from bludgeoning piercing and slashing attacks this is in reflect to spider-man's healing ability and his ability to dodge and duck and dive 
I would take Shocking Grass. Now, this isn't a Peter Parker-esque thing, but this is taking flavor from Miles Morales, another Spider-Man, who has his Venom Strikes and stuff like that. So I would take this. Finally, I would take Minor Illusion. This is reminiscent of the Spider-Verse and other Spider-Mans in other universes, but also reminiscent of his Spidey Sense, which can allow him to dodge and duck out of the way of things. Another option would be Mage Hand, which could almost, you could have it in a way that it's like his webs to bring things forward. But I would take Minor Illusion. For spells, I would take Magic Missile. This can almost be a flavorsome of him just shooting webs out of his web shoes. Multiple different webs hit an enemy. I would take Thunder Wave. This is akin to impact webs and that sort of thing. Shield. So this can be much like a web shield. And this gives us the ability to increase our armor class by 5 and take no damage from Magic Missile, which is amazing. I would take Enhanced Leap, so we triple the character's jumping distance, because Spider-Man is very nimble and has that super strength. This Akin would also turn into Long Strider, so we increase our movement speed by 3 meters. And then finally, I would take Expeditious Retreat. This will allow you to continue moving around the battlefield even more, make you super quick and nimble. But also ties into the Monk and using their decks and whatnot. Okay, we will now put our points at level 7 into the wizard class again. This gives us our specialization. But I would take Adjuration. We get Arcane Ward. The residual magic of your spells forms a ward around you that protects you from harm. Again, this is akin to the Spidey Sense and that sort of thing. We have access to more spells. In this case, I would take Featherfall because Spider-Man jumps around a lot. Doesn't take any damage from that. And Disguise Cells. This isn't really a useful spell to have. But Spider-Man does wear a disguise because he doesn't want his uh, identity to be leaked. That's the flavor here. Okay, for level 8, we are sticking with our wizard because we want access to our level 2 spells. Obviously, as a spell, we have to take web. That is very self-explanatory. And I would take blur now. This is a concentration. The attacks have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. I think it's amazing. Level 9, I would go back into the monk. We now have an additional key point. Improved unarmored movements. We now can increase our movement speed by 4.5. We get key empowered strikes. So our attacks count as magical. The effect of overcoming resistances. And then we have such things like these. So your hands sap the key from your enemy's bodies. And your arm strikes do an additional 3 to 6 necrotic damage. We can do 3 to 6 psychic. 3 to 6 radiant. And we have wholesome body. Regain half your key points and enter a temporary state of wholeness. Where you regain key points and have an extra bonus action. Perfect for healing yourself. Again, it's akin to his healing ability and his accelerated rate of healing. Okay, level 10, and we are staying with Monk. We want the additional key point. Evasion. So your agility lets you dodge out of the way of certain spells. When a spell effect would deal half damage on a successful dexterity saving throw, it deals no damage if you succeed. This is amazing. Again, just like his Spidey Sense. And with our decks being so high, the chance of us making some dexterity saving throws is really good and will take no damage. We'll also get Stillness of Mind. If you're charmed or frightened, you automatically cast Stillness of Mind to remove the condition. This is akin to not only his healing ability, his spidey sense, but also the fact that Spider-Man has quite a lot of willpower and is quite strong-minded. We are now at level 11. We have a option of having a feat as well as an additional key point. I'll go back into my ASIs and I would put my dexterity up to plus 5, bringing us to the max of 20. Okay, final level is level 12. Now from here, you have a few options. I would personally pull it into Monk, but you could pull it into Wizard to get a extra feat or the ASI improvement and put your ASI into your constitution or your intelligence. I would personally stick with Monk. I think we are very quick and nimble, have enough spells around us to allow us to not worry about taking too much damage. And having things like key restoration, where if we hit them with our bare fists, we can restore some key. Then I think this is what we really need. Uh, sorry, 3d6 force damage, 3 to 18 overall is incredible. So that is our monk build. Let's go and see it in combat and see how it is. Okay, so here we are with our Spider-Man build. Now, we have so much stuff. Unfortunately, our arms strong. But if we just do strikes, you'll see we just did 16 damage with some unarmed strikes, which is incredible. Okay, so we still have some unarmed strikes here, so we can keep in. We can do Fury Blows, topple, punch twice in quick succession, and possibly knock the target prone. Let's see if this works. 
Unfortunately, it did save, but we still hit twice and got that extra little chunk of damage. So as you can see, we saved the fireball attacks. We passed the DC dexterity check. And that was just a showcase of our shield ability. Okay, so we're back with our Spider-Man build now. As I said, we have a whole bunch of stuff. So, wholeness of body. Regain half your key points, enter a temporary state of wholeness. Regain key points and extra bonus action. So let's check that out. You'll see we've just regained 27 hit points and we can still take some turns. Okay, we're once again trying to try our key resonation punch, so... There you go, we did 10 damage this time. And that allows us to do our blast. Which hits all of them. Now, unfortunately, they did make their save, so they do only take half damage, but even still. And we still have more attacks we can do, so we could do topple again. Unfortunately, it did miss, but this is just showing you the type of things we can do with the monk. We can heal, and then we can cast all these spells. Or, sorry, cast all these attacks. Okay, so let's check out some more stuff. So, here we can turn on some damage. So, we could do 3d6 radiant. So, we'll do extra damage now every time we hit with a radiant, or sorry, with our fists. And we have other options here we can still do. So, as I was saying, we have Thunder Wave. So, let's just do this. All the force damage. Now, unfortunately, I did save, but you can see how much damage it took. It even knocked it over. Which still allows us to then come in here with our bonus attacks. And we can still tash some of these. So let's do Stagger, for example. But that is our build. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other builds you want to see. Let me know in the comments below if there was anything you would change about this. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you in the next guide. Bye, guys.